so as you can see here, we have a pig's heart. There's a coronary artery, there's some blood spatter around. Yeah, there's the atrium. Yeah, where's the atrium? Alright, here's the atrium, this little flab over here. And now we gotta cut to the fence and get to the important parts. We have Brian, you wanna show your face? No, There, that's Brian, we have him cutting the heart up. And I'll be here filming, I'll probably just, I'll be done inspecting what's gonna go on. Oh yeah, we eat your cut out. You, you film? You film? My hand, I eat the heart already. Okay, now my hand, you cut out. Hey, but, but, but did you label your that you bought? Yeah, my hand had a tissue paper inside the plastic bag. My, my, uh, my, my, my plastic bag is just me, she know, but I don't know anything about my heart. I don't know, don't know, don't care, let's, let's go, let's go, let's, let's do it. Let's do this. I should have my tripod here. Cut in like V-shapes, I believe. Uh, V-shapes. Yeah. I think it's yeah, this kind of angle. I think it's this kind of angle. I better keep this safe with me. Uh, wow. Wow. Give me a moment, give me a moment here. I gotta keep the lens safe. I'll use my left hand to inspect it. I'm using my right hand to film. Alright, go. And I'll go in and I'll, I'll use my left hand here to inspect what's gonna go on. Better hold, we need specific instructions on how to cut as in cut triangles. I'm gonna I'm gonna see it, alright. So that is how you cut it. We know how to cut it, don't we? Alright, let's go! And the bears are irritating, so you might want to... Oh, that was quick. And so we gotta cut little triangles. And as you can see, the layer of fat down there is really, really large. So, uh, you may get a bit troubling. We perhaps could just live the entire bit now, but the fat is just amazingly huge. And well, it's gonna take a while to get into the, the heart, the tendon cardine. And my hand, I had to position my hand so that I can stop recording when the time is right. And that's Brian now is just cutting a cake of heart. And I mean, we're getting in there. We're not there yet, but we're getting, we're getting there. And you can see a chunk of fat is there. And what's inside? What, what do you think is inside there? This looks like it's, it's the left the left part. So I think it's a, the left ventricle perhaps. And man, that is a thick layer of muscle. That's that's a really thick layer of muscle. You wanna go with the right atrium and the right ventricle? Let's try this out. This one is the left one, right? This one's the left one, right? Okay, wait, wait, the front side. This is the front, yeah, this is the front. So this is the left, this is the right. See, so thick. Okay, they open so they can see, cut a bit more so you can see the bulb. We're gonna go in down there to get more bulbs. Yes, this is the front. Almost a bit of it. Show them the atrium. Show them the atrium. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna open I'm gonna open this up but Alright, so Brian now here. So this one is the uh, the right atrium if I'm right. It's like a little flab over there. Um, now if I stick my hand in there, it's it's really slimy but at least I got gloves on. It's like a little hole and you come out and see it's all slimy and piggish. And what this is is it's actually the pulmonary is it the pulmonary or the aorta? This is the aorta. And well it, it transports the oxygenated blood from the heart to the rest of the parts of the body. Well, the pulmonary arteries uh, bring blood back to the lungs. And this is a layer of fat of a thick heart. It's, it's really thick. Um, I believe there's another layer you can go in there. Um, my hands feel pretty grossed out right now. I cannot touch this with my right hand because I cannot film. Oh, uh, we're never gonna wash our hands after this. I hope. Alright, so now Brian's gonna cut up the parts from the right atrium and I believe the right ventricle and atrium. I believe it's gonna be much easier. Yeah, because the muscle here isn't so thick. 
like unlike the left ventricle, the muscle of the right atrium should not be very thick. Um, and we, we kind of got in there already. Um, yeah, we're like surgeons right now. We're just entering the heart. Okay. So, and as you can see right there, it's a, it's a bicuspid ball button, right? And we're gonna go cut the piece up. Very gently. You're not cutting the valves, are you? I think you were. It's a valve. I don't know, this looks like a valve. So I believe, I believe this is the bicuspid, uh, the tricuspid valve, because this is the right atrium. Um, and in the ventricle here, it transports the oxygenated blood back to the lungs. Um, via the pulmonary arteries, we kind of dissected it already. That's the, and then in there, you can see that there's still some blood down there. Um, we've got Brian's awesome hands. Um, I, is there the pulmonary artery anyway? I might want to stick my hand in there. Pulmonary artery. Yeah, remember, if there was the aorta, there should be a pulmonary artery somewhere. I believe, is it, is it this one? It, this no, one? This one? Yeah, this one, you know, I'm gonna stick my hand in there. Um, wow, it's it's really gross, um, but it's coming along the lines there. So it would turn, if I'm right, it turns. So if I can get past this layer of fat here, I should be able to... Oh well. If I could get past the layer of fat, um, I probably would be able to go all the way in. But now we're gonna just uh, experiment with this. With the pigs. Alright. Um, those lines that are over there is like kind of the, the coronary oh, arteries. Please. All the way in, whoa! So that, wait, can you show that again, show that again? So, this is the right atrium, right? And, well, that's, that's Brian's amazing finger over there with the plastic. He got it all the way. And this is pretty much a pulmonary artery. You wanna try the, oh, let's try the aorta again. I mean, you notice the walls are pretty thick compared. We're gonna try to go all the way inside, and you can see there's a left ventricle, that's the finger over there. Um, wow! I'm actually pretty shocked. I mean, it's disgusting, but I'm pretty shocked. Um, you can smell it right now, but currently where I'm filming, it's really smelly. But after five minutes or ten minutes, you should get used to it. Yeah, so don't be afraid if this is the first time cutting your finger. I kind of touched it with, the, with my finger. Um, but it is the valves. I think I believe that is the valves. Um, this probably the, the walls aren't so thick. I'm gonna speculate. This is the um, the tricuspid valves, right? Which is the valve? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is the... The tricuspid valve, right? Oh, yes, it's just some bloody. Oh, this is some fat. It's not a valve. It's not a valve. I want to find the strings that I will find. Why would you just... Oh, right, so those aren't the valves yet. No, it's not yet. They're here. The valves are this oh, one. Oh, wow. Well. Where the strings are attached to. Oh. But apparently there are depositions, no? Like fat, see? There we go. We got yeah. Yeah. So this whole part is clotted. Yeah, I think because see, this is the valves, the strings are attached to. That's unhealthy, big. Yeah, maybe. Okay, then this one you must cut a bit more. Is that, is that? Slice up, slice some more. Alright, you want to just yes. cut out the fats away? Uh, there you see. Yeah. These muscles, these muscles. Muscles. Yeah. These muscles. Yeah. These muscles. Yeah. These are all muscles. Is that thick? Oh, yeah. That explains a lot. Alright. Get more of that. Yes, we're gonna go get more. Too bad, too bad. Muscles are really thick. Yeah, I mean, you can compare, with, you can compare the muscles of the, of the left ventricle with the right uh, ventricle. Man, it's real thick. Uh, I think, do we get in there? I think we're somewhere along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, which, where are the strings again? This is a chordae tendine. The chordae tendine. Alright, there we go. There, there we have the chordae tendine. Um, yeah, it kind of, well, is the the strings to to move the valves, is it? Is it the valves itself? Or is it? Mm, uh, no, it is the center part of the heart. The center part of the heart. It splits the left atrium from the right, from the right atrium, right? Uh, yeah, this is the valve, this is the valve. Alright, there we have it. Yeah, so we got the valve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, we got the valve, like, somewhere yeah, along those lines. Yeah. Right. There's the valve. I'm just gonna... Oh, right. There we go. There we go, it's really cool. And it's the first time I've seen it in real life, so... Um, but as you can see, the muscles on the left ventricle are so much, so much thicker than that on the right ventricle. And that is because more pressure is required to pump blood to all parts of the body, because it plumps out the oxygen in the blood. 
I mean, every part is important, but you know, it's just another distinctive feature of the pulmonary uh, artery. Uh, you got some blood there. Yeah. It's gross, it's nasty, it's icky, but well, it works. Um, What's that? Eh? I think the right side is tricuspid or bicuspid? The right, on our side, the right one, this should be the tricuspid. The layer of fats. There's a layer of fat. Deposited. Along the valves. You know, when, she tra when the blood transports food, it just deposits the, 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 the valves, the, 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 the fats in the valves. You can see it's really clear. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. It's actually, you know, it, it, it feels like meat. It just feels like, you know, it feels meaty just like meat. Um, not much difference actually. It just tastes, it feels like pork. I mean, this is a pig's heart. Just you can see the muscles are really thick. We're gonna just cut a, cut a, a bit more of the heart to just let you guys see. I'm gonna zoom out here a bit. So you see Brian is just cutting up the heart. And we, we get further into the ventricle. As you can see down there. There we go. That's further into the ventricle. We've got the the cordae tendine down there, those lines, um, wow, it's actually pretty cool, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, I'd be pretty interested if we can just, did, just cut through the entire heart, like, I don't know, it'd be cool, it'd be cool like but probably it's like, the cordae tendine is there, um, if not, then there's the bicuspid valves, You see, there we go. Uh, yeah, this now, is left, left ventricle. This is the left ventricle, so this is his finger, and he just came out of the aorta. There we go, that's the finger. And wow, it's. it's not the aorta has thick muscles. Yeah, you can notice that the aorta has much thicker muscles than that of the pulmonary uh, arteries. And uh, Brian, would you like to explain why this is so? Um, okay, fine, I'll, I'll do it. Um, so in general, it's because you know the blood, the oxygenated blood, comes through the aorta and require and needs to be pumped out to the rest of the body. However, the, the and it requires a lot of pressure. So therefore, the muscles there are there to uh, be able to handle much more pressure. However, the pulmonary arteries um, they don't have to pump blood so many so far. They only need to pump blood all the way to the. Um, is attached to the atrium. This is the vena cava. This tiny one. And then the okay. walls are really thin. This is attached to the atrium. There, yeah. There we go. Okay, so that's the right atrium. Um, so yeah, this is the the there's the vena cava. There we go. That's the vena cava. This is the atrium. Wow, you can see his finger down there. Um, well. Yeah, so the pulmonary arteries don't have to transport a lot of blood far, so it does not need much pressure, it does not need much pressure, but the aorta does. And well, this is our heart. It's not dissected, we're gonna have to do another one with the frog in the near future. I don't know when that is, and I'm not a fan of that because it looks really gross. We're gonna come more flesh out of that. Alright, we're gonna just look in depth into the heart. There you see you have the heart. This is the right heart. That's what the oxygenated blood. Uh huh. The oxygenated blood. Yeah, it goes all the way back to the pulmonary artery. Show them the thickness of the muscle. So you can see the thickness of this is the thickness of the right ventricle. But you can see the thickness of the left ventricle. It's, it's enormously huge because of the pressure requirements. Not how much pressure is needed to. Um, transport blood. It's really cool. And then I don't know what's. Alright, so he's gonna stick his finger there, and there you have it. This one, he's just stuck his finger to the aorta, and have it move your finger there. There we go. Um, that's the aorta. And these these lines here, as I mentioned before, they're the coronary arteries, and they're just basically arteries that supply the blood with blood, the, the heart with blood, so that you know the blood, the heart can actually continue functioning. And if these things get clogged, you get coronary heart disease, 
and then you might not survive. Uh, you might die, you know. So keep your coronary arteries clean. Don't let them get clogged or else. These things are not going to supply oxygen to the heart. The heart cannot respire and you die. Because the heart cannot, can, uh, cannot function and your blood cannot travel to the rest of the body and, it, those, and those tissues cannot photosynthesize uh, that, respire. And when those things can't respire, you're doomed. I'm gonna try. You know, I think there are some balls down there. So I'm gonna stick my finger here. There. Nice finger. I'm gonna stick it in there. And it should, if all goes well, come out here. You know. Actually, you know what? I'm very interested to find out how the balls work. I'm gonna stick my finger in there. And wow, this is just. Is it possible just stick in there to find the balls? Perhaps the balls are going to be just slice the whole thing open. Alright. Hey, Mela Ho, we're going to slice the whole thing open. Well, we don't have much time left. For my lack of medical knowledge, I don't really know what kind of condition some of your pig's heart has. Okay, so you can see the basic. Yeah, you should slice this up. Let's, let's slice it up. Very thick. Yeah, it's really thick. Um, wash your hands with salt. Listen to me. If you are in your regular massage, it's a bad thing. But do wash your hands and discard the heart and the gloves in front of you. Don't throw it on the table. Discard right in front. I'm gonna slice that height all around. I mean, this, this is not working. It's it's already extracted from the pig, so it doesn't really make much of a difference. Oh, nasty. That's a lot of muscle. That's a lot of muscle. I just took 16 minutes of footage. That's not a lot of time, but you know. Man, that is just nasty. It's, that's just so gross. But then again, that's how we learn biology. The heart, at least. Alright, I thought it was flat. Oh my gosh. So, where is the Cody Cannon? This thing here, there we go. It separates the right ventricle from the left ventricle. Our, our hands are like bloody right now, so. Uh, or is the gloves? So. Yeah, I guess that's. Is that all we got of the heart? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Um, that's interesting, and we're gonna just finish this video off. Uh, this is Joel and Brian signing out.